We must give diplomacy a chance to succeed. If Iran's leaders do not seize this opportunity, then I will be the first to call for more sanctions and stand ready to exercise all options to make sure Iran does not build a nuclear weapon. But if Iran's leaders do seize the chance, and we'll know soon enough, then Iran could take an important step to rejoin the community of nations, and we will have re resolved one of the leading security challenges of our time without the risks of war. همانطور که بارها تکرار کردیم با این مذاکرات و با متنی که تهیه شده است در هر صورت سیاست ما در مقابل دولت مستکبر آمریکا هیچ تغییری نخواهد کرد آمریکایی ها حزب الله را و مقاومت لبنان را متهم به تروریسم می کنند. اون وقت در مقابل دولت تروریست صهیونیستی کودک کش را مورد حمایت خودشون قرار میدن. با یک چنین سیاستی چگونه می شود معامله کرد، چگونه می شود مذاکره کرد؟ With more money and potentially more access to weapons in a short period of time, doesn't this empower Iran to destabilize the region rather than make it more secure? Certainly, if they made that choice, it would be an enormous mistake. But the United States and our allies have made it clear that we will not stand by idly if Iran decides to be involved in destabilization. Iran will take some of that money that they're going to get from the frozen assets that are now being unfrozen, that they'll use it on some of the, to create mischief, more mischief in the area. What is the U.S. prepared to do about that? How do you well, see that gonna, playing we're gonna, out? We're going to clamp down. We're not, they're not allowed to do that. They're not allowed to do that outside even of this agreement. There is a UN resolution that specifically applies to them not being allowed to transfer to Hezbollah. چه این مرد تصویب بشود و چه نشود ما از حمایت دوستانمان در منطقه دست نخواهیم کشید از ملت مظلوم فلسطین از ملت مظلوم یمن از ملت و دولت سوریه از ملت و دولت عراق از مردم مظلوم بحرین از مجاهدان صادق مقاومت در لبنان و فلسطین همواره مورد حمایت ما خواهند بود موازنت حزب الله و معاشات و مصاریف و اکل و شرب و سلاح و صواریخ و من الجمهوری الاسلامی فی ایران Uh, Do you think like, that you could guarantee uh, from the State Department to the American people that this doesn't get filtered into groups like Hezbollah and other terrorist allies that Iran has, that not one dollar of it could go there? Do you think we could really know something? Well, we can't say that not one single dollar will go there. What we can say, based on what we've seen so far, 
is that virtually all of it is going into the economy, not into the military. We achieved a nuclear deal with Iran to prevent it from getting a nuclear weapon that's made us safer, made countries around the world safer. Part of that involved lifting sanctions on Iran, and that freed up money that had been frozen around the world that Iran had in bank accounts that it couldn't bring back to Iran. Now, as part of the deal, Iran is bringing back some of that money, but the overwhelming majority of that money is going into their economy, which is in dire straits. It's not going How do we know? Military. We know. We've seen it. Uh, we see what they're saying. We see how they're spending it. Uh, and also what we see is that instead of going to the military, the money is being poured back into the economy because this is an economy that was suffering terribly. ما با آمریکا در مورد مسائل گوناگون جهانی و منطقه ای مذاکره ای نداریم در مورد مسائل دو جانبه مذاکره ای نداریم سیاست های آمریکا در منطقه با سیاست های جمهوری اسلامی 180 درجه اختلاف دارد طالما بإيران في فلوس يعني نحن في عنا فلوس The Iranian government has carried out a medium-range missile test launch. Has successfully tested a new mid-range ballistic missile. Iran has fired two types of medium-range ballistic missiles Wednesday. We have Iran D. And a lot of people know that before the deal, all the government, they really cared about um, human rights because they wanted to get Iranian government to sit and negotiate with them about the nuclear deal. But after the deal, they totally ignored human rights. But we want you to sanction those oppressors who hurt their own people. I think people had a chance to uh, get to know the real nature of this regime. اگر تحریم ها برداشته بشه با فروش نفت و منابع ایران اسلحه خواهند خرید و با اون اسلحه فرزندان ما رو خواهند کشت و ما از مردم دنیا میخواییم از جامعه جهانی میخواییم که اینا رو به رسمیت نشناسن با اینا مذاکره نکنن به اینها پول ندن اینا نماینده مردم ایران نیستن If Iran's leaders do not seize this opportunity, then I will be the first to call for more sanctions. But if Iran's leaders do seize the chance, and we'll know soon enough,